Do you love coffee, but aren't sure how it affects your body? We're about to unveil all the secrets, leaving you with no doubts. We'll explore how coffee impacts each organ, especially the liver, one of the most vital organs in our body. Did you know that the liver can function for more than 600 years? While the heart and brain are designed for a minimum of 300 years, we've learned to compromise ourselves within 60 years. If you care about your health, subscribe to our channel to catch insightful videos that will help you maintain good health for years to come. If you don't drink coffee every day, you're depriving your body of numerous beneficial substances and micronutrients. Recent studies confirm that the benefits of coffee go beyond its antioxidant effect. Coffee was revered and praised in the Middle Ages when bins first arrived in Europe thanks to Venetian merchants. Today, people drink coffee for its delightful taste, aroma, and as a pick-me-up. But do we all truly understand the real value of coffee? Let's delve into it together. The composition of coffee is now fully understood. Caffeine trigonellin, nitrogen compounds, lipids, carbohydrates, organic acids, trace elements, and vitamins. Consuming coffee has the following effects on our body when taken as a whole. After a strong cup, physical activity improves. Caffeine, the main active component, a natural alkaloid, stimulates the central nervous system, enhancing physical activity and endurance. Brain activity is heightened. Caffeine improves cognitive brain functions such as attention, concentration, memory, and reaction. Coffee helps us stay alert and be more productive at work and in daily life. The risk of developing chronic diseases decreases. Did you know that regular coffee consumption helps reduce the risk of diseases like type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, and even some types of cancer? This is primarily due to its antioxidant properties that protect the body from the accumulation of free radicals. Drinking coffee in the morning boosts your mood for the entire day. Caffeine stimulates the production of endorphins and serotonin, responsible for a good mood and a sense of satisfaction. Moderate consumption of ground beans can lift your spirits and help cope with mild depression. The risk of heart disease decreases. While caffeine can temporarily raise blood pressure, its regular consumption reduces the risk of heart diseases such as heart attacks and ischemic heart disease. This is attributed to the antioxidants and organic acids present in the beans, beneficial for the cardiovascular system. The risk of liver disease decreases. Natural coffee helps protect the liver from diseases like cirrhosis, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, hepatitis, and cancer. Regular consumption has a cumulative effect, making a cup of invigorating drink highly beneficial for breakfast. We'll discuss the impact of coffee on the liver in more detail later. Regular coffee consumption reduces the risk of Parkinson's disease. Coffee contains organic substances and acids that help protect the nerve cells in the brain from damage. Scientists note that coffee lovers are 18% less likely to develop the disease. These are just some of the properties coffee possesses. Thanks to its rich composition, you can create not only a tasty but also a healthy beverage. However, like any product, it should be consumed in moderation. Too much coffee can lead to indesirable side effects such as insomnia, anxiety, and increased blood pressure. How does coffee affect the liver? The liver plays a crucial role in processing food, purifying blood, and detoxifying the body. It also produces bile, aiding in fat breakdown and improving digestion. Coffee contains various active components, including caffeine, antioxidants, and polyphenols. These substances positively impact liver cells, enhancing its functions and protecting it from damage. Several international studies indicate that coffee consumption is linked to a reduced risk of developing liver cirrhosis a severe condition that can impay organ function and lead to death. Coffee also helps prevent fatty liver disease, which arises from the excessive accumulation of fat cells in the organ. Moreover, the beverage effectively shields the liver from alcohol intoxication and facilitates quicker recovery after poisoning. 
Epidemiological studies show that consuming three or more cups of coffee per day reduces mortality among those infected with HIV and hepatitis C. Moderate coffee intake, on average, decreases the risk of developing cancer by 10%. Do you drink natural coffee? Share in the comments how many cups a day you consider optimal for yourself. How does coffee affect blood vessels? Naturally, the influence of coffee is not limited to the liver alone. Thanks to its high content of the natural alkaloid caffeine, coffee has a stimulating effect. With regular intake, it combats fatigue, enhances blood circulation, and stimulates the cardiovascular system. However, coffee does not affect all blood vessels the same way. Caffeine's vasodilatory effects apply to veins, arteries, vessels of the heart, and kidneys. Conversely, the alkaloid has a vasoconstrictive effect on the vessels of the digestive system. This improves food breakdown, normalizes digestion, and stimulates intestinal peristalsis. Additionally, coffee narrows the vessels of the pelvic organs, making menstrual periods less painful. However, caffeine particularly constricts blood vessels in the brain. A cup of coffee can alleviate spasms, headaches, and discomfort during adverse weather conditions. A small dose of caffeine in the bloodstream improves overall well-being. However, coffee is not recommended for individuals with chronic vascular diseases or those suffering from vegetative vascular dystonia. In what cases can coffee be harmful to the body? Unfortunately, like all beneficial products, excessive coffee consumption can be harmful to the body. When is this beverage dangerous? If there are no severe vascular and heart diseases, coffee will have a favorable effect on the body. Two cups a day won't harm your health. However, in the presence of serious heart pathologies, even low caffeine content can trigger intense chest pain. It's better to avoid coffee with hypertension to prevent spikes in blood pressure. Additionally, caffeine is contraindicated in angina, tachycardia, and vascular aneurysm, as well as glaucoma. Some general contraindications include pregnancy and breastfeeding. Caffeine penetrates the placenta and breast milk, potentially negatively impacting the child's health, insomnia, and other sleep disorders. Caffeine has a stimulating effect, potentially disrupting normal sleep patterns. Gastritis and stomach ulcers with increased acidity. Taking certain medications, contraceptives, antidepressants, diuretics. Furthermore, some individuals have an individual intolerance to coffee, leading to negative consequences. If you're unsure whether you can consume coffee, it's better to consult a doctor. Otherwise, coffee is a beneficial, versatile, and delicious beverage with a comprehensive impact on the entire body. It helps prevent numerous diseases, keeping you alert and active. If you want to enhance the taste and aroma, add a bit of honey, a slice of lemon, or cinnamon to your coffee. We wish you robust health, morning vitality, and a burst of energy throughout the day.